In this example of Archimedes' principle, we'll be using the concept of buoyant force. We're going to uh, do the calculation supposing that four adults who have a total weight of 600 pounds uh, are going to lay on this mat, and the mat has a density of 60 kilograms per cubic meter. The mat has a density of four centimeters, and we're going to find the minimum area for this mat. So we want all of the mat to be in the water, but none of the uh, bodies of the people to be in the water. So the people are going to be dry, but we're going to assume that the mat is totally submerged. So just barely submerged and no waves, so uh, calm, fresh water. And our concept is the buoyant force is going to supply an upward force. And of course, the mat and the people have a weight that's downward. And this buoyant force upward will equal the displaced water that uh, using a density of 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, you have to know if you're doing a freshwater or saltwater calculation. So the buoyant force upward is going to be the same magnitude as the weight downward. And there are two weights to calculate, the weight of the people and the weight of the mat. Now, you might think we don't have to calculate the weight of the people because we're given pounds here. But we're going to change uh, the pounds into the kilogram equivalent on Earth. Uh, we want to do a metric calculation. We have metric numbers coming in here. and We want to be consistent. This will be changed to meters. Uh, during the calculation. But first, the uh, calculation on Earth, uh, converting pounds to kilograms. Uh, you can look this up in a book or on the internet. Uh, one kilogram on Earth has a weight of 2.205 pounds. So I need the in the conversion factor the pounds to be in the denominator to cancel the pounds unit here. And we end up 272 kilograms for the mass of the people. Uh, to do the buoyant force calculation, the buoyant force is also a weight. The buoyant force is the weight of the displaced water. So we need the mass of the water that's displaced, and then we'll multiply by the acceleration due to gravity. Uh, so doing this buoyant force expression, can't do the calculation because we don't know the area of the mat. We can't calculate the volume of the mat yet. But mass of water is density times volume. So that's the first two terms here. The density of the water is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. And the volume is the area of the mat times 0.04 meters of thickness. And then to get uh, the force calculation, we take this mass of displaced water times 9.8. So let's uh, move my work up here a little bit. And again, if if I go too fast on some of my uh, talking through the calculations, be sure to pause. And also, you should be sure to use your own calculator and uh, do these calculations yourself. Uh, so doing the calculation of 1,000 times 0.04, that gives us a factor of 40. The area is still here, 9.8 is still here. And then the mass of the people, 272.1 kilograms times 9.8, and the uh, mat has a density of 60 kilograms per cubic meter. So we're going to get 60, and here's the volume of the mat, area times 0.04 meters, and then another 9.8. Do you see a possible simplification at this point? Well, you should cancel all the 9.8s. So we um, do that and do calculations on the right side, and no 9.8s anywhere coming down to this line. So just 40 times area. The 272.1 survives. And then 60 times the 0.04. That delivers 2.4 as a factor in front of the area that we're trying to calculate. So we combine like terms on the left side where our area is. It's 40 minus 2.4. And we still have the 272.1 on the right side. And we divide through by 37.6, and we find the area is 7.24 square meters. And I think that's reasonable if we would um, set two meters for the uh, height of the mat in the direction the people are laying down. 
and we have 3.6 meters across and uh, we could squeeze four people I think into 3.6 meters wide so there's our calculation key concept of buoyant force you need to find the mass of the displaced water and multiply by 9.8 to get the buoyant force the buoyant force upward is the same magnitude as the weight of everything downward so I can't just use the weight of the people I also have to include the weight of the mat so we end up with uh, this expression our um, buoyant force and over here the weight of both the people and the mat so ask your instructor if you have questions on this happy calculating and subscribe to my channel if uh, you, you like these videos the videos are described uh, listed at uh, two places physics videos at physics.gpclements.com astronomy videos astronomy.gpclements.com the astronomy is not just for coursework there's Hubble photographs and uh, miscellaneous videos about astronomy and also the current um, sky calendar list of events for the year is freely available at astronomy.gpclements.com you don't have to register you just go ahead and access the material